Bon, also spelled Bon Tibetan, Wiley, Bon, Lhasa dialect IPA, PO stroke, is a Tibetan religion. Although it shares the same overall teachings and terminology as Tibetan Buddhism, its followers consider Bon a separate religion. According to traditional Bon beliefs and legends, the religion predates the arrival of Buddhism in Tibet, however in reality it arose in the 11th century alongside the revival of Buddhism. According to Sam Van Shaikh, in truth the old religion was a new religion. Its scriptures are derived primarily from termas hidden teachings and visions by tertans discoverers of hidden teachings such as Lodan Nyingpo. Topic symbol. Topic definitions of bond. As Bon only arose in the 11th century through the work of Tertans, Sam Van Shaikh states it is improper to refer to the pre-Buddhist religion of Tibet as Bon. Though some people call the old pre-Buddhist religion of Tibet, Bon, it is unlikely that before Buddhism the Tibetans had a clear sense of practicing a religion as such, or a specific name for these practices. In fact, the Bonpo religion only started to take shape alongside the revival of Buddhism in the 11th century. And when the scriptures of the Bonpo started to appear in Tibet, it was mainly through the work of Tertans. History Foundation Three Bon scriptures MDO, Gzer Mig, and Gzi Burjid relate the mythos of Tanpa Shenrab Miwash. The Bonpos regard the first two as Gter Ma rediscovered around the 10th and 11th centuries and the last as Nian Burgud oral transmission dictated by Lodan Nyingpo, who lived in the 14th century. In the 14th century, Lodan Nyingpo revealed a terma known as the Brilliance Wiley, Gzi Burjid, which contained the story of Tanpa Shenrab. He was not the first Bonpo Turton, but his terma became one of the definitive scriptures of Bon religion. It states that Shenrab established the Bon religion while searching for a horse stolen by a demon. Tradition also tells that he was born in the land of Tagzig Olmo Lung Ring, considered an Axis Mundi, which is traditionally identified as Mount Young Drung Gu Tzeg, edifice of nine sawastikas, possibly Mount Kalash, in western Tibet. Due to the sacredness of Tagzig Olmo Lunging and Mount Kalash, the Bonpo regard both the swastika and the number nine as auspicious and as of great significance. Tanpa Shenrab Miwash visited Kongpo and found people whose practice involved spiritual appeasement with animal sacrifice. He taught them to substitute offerings with symbolic animal forms made from barley flour. He only taught according to the student's capability with lower shamanic vehicles to prepare, until with prayer, diligence, devotion, and application they could incarnate to achieve sutra, tantra, and dzogchen. Bon teachings feature nine vehicles, which are pathway teaching categories with distinct characteristics, views, practices, and results. Medicine, astrology, and divination are in the lower vehicles, then sutra and tantra, with dzogchen great perfection being the highest. Traditionally, the nine vehicles are taught in three versions, as central, northern and southern treasures. The central treasure is closest to Nyingma Nine Yana's teaching and the northern treasure is lost. Tenzin Wangyal Rinpoche elaborated the southern treasure with shamanism. A Cavern of Treasures A Cavern of Treasures Tibetan, Wiley, MD Zod Fug is a Bon Terma uncovered by Shenchen Luga Tibetan, Wiley, G Shen Chen Kludga in the early 11th century. Martin identifies the importance of this scripture for studies of the Zhang Zheng language. For students of Tibetan culture in general, the MD Zod Fug is one of the most intriguing of all Bon scriptures, since it is the only lengthy bilingual work in Zhang Zheng and Tibetan. Some of the shorter but still significant sources for Zhang Zheng are signaled in Orofino 1990. Topic: 18th century. The Dzungar people invaded Tibet in 1717 and deposed a pretender to the position of Dalai Lama who had been promoted by Lobzhong, the titular king of Tibet. 
This was met with widespread approval. However, they soon began to loot the holy places of Lhasa, which brought a swift response from the Kangxi Emperor in 1718, but his military expedition was annihilated by the Dzungars not far from Lhasa. Many Nyingmapas and Bonpos were executed, and Tibetans visiting Dzungar officials were forced to stick their tongues out so the Dzungars could tell if the person recited constant mantras, which was said to make the tongue black or brown. This allowed them to pick the Nyingmapas and Bonpos, who recited many magic mantras. A habit of sticking one's tongue out as a mark of respect on greeting someone has remained a Tibetan custom into modern times. Topic: 19th century. In the 19th century, Shardza Tashi Galtsin, a Bon master whose collected writings comprise 18 volumes, significantly rejuvenated the tradition. His disciple Kagya Kyungtrul Jigmi Namka trained many practitioners to be learned in not only the Bon religion, but in all Tibetan schools. According to the Bonpo, 18 enlightened entities will manifest in this eon, and Tanpa Shenrab Miwash, the founder of Bon, is considered the enlightened Buddha of this age. Compare Yuga and Kalpa. The 33rd lineage holder of Menri Monastery, Menri Trizin Lungtog Tenpei Naima, and Lopin Tenzin Namdak are important current lineage holders of Bon. More than 300 Bon monasteries had been established in Tibet prior to Chinese annexation. Of these, Menri Monastery and Shurishing Yungdrung Dungdrakling Monastery were the two principal monastic universities for the study and practice of Bon knowledge and science arts. Geography <laughs> 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 Ethnic Tibet is not confined culturally to China's Tibet Autonomous Region. The broader area of ethnic Tibet also includes, to the east and north, parts of the Chinese provinces of Sichuan, Qinghai, Gansu and Yunnan and the southern Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, to the southwest, the Indian territories of Ladakh, Lahal and Spiti and the Baltistan region of Pakistan, the extreme northwest of Assam, and to the south, Bhutan, Sikkim, and parts of northern Nepal, such as Mustang and Dalpo, the regions in northeastern Nepal inhabited by Sherpa and Tamang peoples, and extreme northern Burma Myanmar. Even parts of modern Bangladesh were once a part of this Greater Tibet. <laughs> Gods Bonpos cultivate household gods in addition to other deities. Traditionally, in Tibet, divine presences or deities would be incorporated into the very construction of the house, making it in effect a castle against the malevolent forces outside it. The average Tibetan house would have a number of houses or seats for the male god that protects the house. Every day the man of the house would invoke this god and burn juniper wood and leaves to placate him. In addition the woman of the house would also have a protecting deity whose seat could be found within the kitchen usually at the top of the pole that supported the roof. Another set of deities are the white old man, a sky god, and his consort. They are known by a few different names, such as the Galpo Peher called King Peher Wiley, Pehar Argyal Po. Peher is featured as a protecting deity of Zhangzheng, the center of the Bon religion. Reportedly, Peher is related to celestial heavens and the sky in general. In early Buddhist times, Peher transmogrified into a shamanic bird to adapt to the bird motifs of shamanism. Peher's consort is a female deity known by one of her names as Duza Minkar Wiley, Budgza Smindkar, Stein 1954 and Hummel 1962. Present situation According to a recent Chinese census, an estimated 10% of Tibetans follow Bon. When Tibet was annexed into the People's Republic of China, there were approximately 300 Bon monasteries in Tibet and the rest of Western China. According to a recent survey, there are 264 active Bon monasteries, convents, and hermitages. The present spiritual head of the Bon is Lungtok Tenpai Naima (1929–2017), the 33rd abbot of Menri Monastery, destroyed in the Cultural Revolution, but now rebuilt, who now presides over Pal Shen Ten Menri Ling in Dolanji in Himachal Pradesh, India, for the abbacy of which monastery he was selected in 1969. 
A number of Bon establishments also exist in Nepal. Triton Norbuse Bonpo Monastery is one on the western outskirts of Kathmandu. Bon's leading monastery is the refounded Menri Monastery in Dolanji, Himachal Pradesh, India. Many Bon elements are in the Hongi religion of the Pumi people. Recognition Lobsang Yeshe, recognized as the fifth Panchen Lama by the fifth Dalai Lama, was a member of the Dru family, an important family of the Bon religion. Under Lozang Gyatso, Bon became respected both philosophically and politically. However, the Bonpo remained stigmatized and marginalized until 1977, when they sent representatives to Dharamshala and the 14th Dalai Lama, who advised the parliament of the Central Tibetan Administration to accept Bon members. Since then, Bon has had official recognition of its status as a religious group, with the same rights as the Buddhist schools. This was restated in 1987 by the Dalai Lama, who also forbade discrimination against the Bonpos, stating that it was both undemocratic and self-defeating. He even donned Bon ritual paraphernalia, emphasizing, "...the religious equality of the Bon faith." However, Tibetans still differentiate between Bon and Buddhism, referring to members of the Nyingma, Shakya, Kagyu and Gelug schools as Nongfa, meaning, "...insiders," but to practitioners of Bon as, "...bonpo." Or even cheaper, outsiders. Topic. See also. Equals equals footnotes. <laughs>